Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Alleluia. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God, that God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned. But whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light, because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light and his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now when we uh, read the Acts of the Apostles, it's really quite amazing. Uh, the apostles who were cowering in the upper room uh, and then filled, uh, witnessing of course, Jesus risen from the dead, uh, experiencing his ascension, then the gift of the Holy Spirit given to them. Uh, and to find them before the uh, leaders, the religious leaders of the day, uh, speaking the name of Jesus, thrown into prison, then freed, <laughs> miraculously, with everything locked. How that happened? Wow. And then commanded to just go back in the temple and, and teach and preach, which is what they did. Uh, you know, the human element of this would be go hide somewhere. I mean, but they didn't. Uh, and then to get arrested again, <laughs> people for them again. This is really quite amazing. And it, it really brings to life, I think, uh, uh, what John has said in his gospel. Uh, they truly took to heart and lived and believed and followed that God so loved the world that he only gave his only begotten son, whom they knew as Jesus, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. That became the core and center of their lives. Everything else fell in comparison. Uh, let's pray that that same spirit of the resurrection, that same spirit of Pentecost will overwhelm us and enable us to be witnesses of uh, the word born in our midst and risen from the dead.